Amnesty International perspective, yeah. why is Aung San Suu Kyi such a great uh, ambassador of conscience, such a great recipient of this award? Well, she is, uh, I mean, as we said last night, really, what, last night here in Dublin, an iconic prisoner of conscience became an ambassador of conscience. Um, Aung San Suu Kyi represents utterly and completely uh, um, our definition of a prisoner of conscience, somebody who has been imprisoned or had their rights violated simply because of their beliefs or the expression of those beliefs, and who has always adopted a non-violent approach to change. And the message that Aung San Suu Kyi speeches, or the message that Aung San Suu Kyi uh, preaches is, is so clear. You know, she says that there are amazing quotes about the military can't win, all they have is bullets and guns. You know, and, and uh, what, what she has is just the power of what she represents, an abiding belief in freedom, in human rights, in the principles of democracy, and the principles of a people being free to determine their own futures, deciding how they want their societies and their own state to be structured, and a resolute determination to hang, to stand by those beliefs. So for, you know, 23 years now, effectively, she has never, ever stepped back from those principles of those beliefs, and she's paid a very high cost for it. Um, I mean, she spent 14 of those years, uh, in 15 of those years in under house arrest in detention, um, and the, the, the generals in, in Myanmar and Burma clearly believed that by placing her in detention, they would silence her. And actually, if anything, that just made her as Bob Geldof said last night, she's a noisy woman. That made her expression louder. And that loud expression was an incredibly calm, serene, clear, focused, deliberate way. So she represents everything that the Ambassador of Conscience Award stands for. She represents everything that, that Amnesty stands for. Um, the idea that, that ordinary people are extraordinary, and she is extraordinary. Uh, and that by taking principled, clear stances, by standing for principles like freedom, equality, human rights, um, and standing by those principles, no matter what the opposition or repression might be, real change is possible. And I, I think she embodies that, she's proven that. Um.